Hi there, I'm James Adele, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the texture to an object via Photon RPC Call. We're going to use the demo worker example as a starting point, and then we're going to write a behavior in C Sharp. Here's the example right here. I'm going to create a room here. Okay, and there's our sample. We're going to be applying a texture to that. I'm going to join on this side here, and here we go. So now, on this side, if I press the letter E, it'll apply a texture. And you can see on this side here, it's showing that texture that I applied. Now that I'm on this side here, I'm going to press P, the keyboard, and you notice that it applies. If I go back here, I press P, and it'll apply the same one. So you notice that it's actually working. I'll go back on this side now, press E, and the textures are being applied. And it's got a controller that, so you can move around. And that's what we're going to be working on. I'm just going to close this right now and quit out of that. In this setup, the assumption is that, number one, we've got PUN or Photon Unity Networking installed and our app ID has been applied. Number two, we know that the demos work. In our example, we'll be using the demo worker as a starting point. And number three, we've got the textures we want to apply and ready to go. Okay, once we've got all that, let's start. So we've got this set up right now. I, what I did was I moved the demo worker scene and demo worker game scene into the assets folder. So my setup might be a bit different from yours, but principally, basically, it's all the same. So first thing I did was load up demo worker. And what we'll do is I'll show you what it looks like right now. We'll press play and it'll connect to the Photon servers. I'm going to create a room like so. And we can walk around. So really wonderful. And if we launch another instance of this, we'll see another instance or prefab walking around as well. I'm going to stop there. So the idea is what we want to do is we want to take a look at this player, this player, this prefab here, and we just want to observe the behaviors. We want to take a look at the behaviors that this particular player has because we want to mimic it in our sphere where we're going to be applying the texture. So it's got a character controller, third person controller script. Oh, and by the way, by the way, animation as well. We've got a third person camera script. Notice that it's not checked. We have a photon view script and we have the third person network script. And understand that the photon view script is observing the third person network script. All these work together to basically instantiate the player into the scene and so that when we press the WASD keys, it moves around. What we want to do is we want to do something similar to a sphere, something really simple that we can work with. So number one, let's create a game object and we want to create a sphere. And that's this one right there. Okay, and it's zero, zero, zero. Good, I'm just going to move it up just a bit. And bam, we have our sphere. The next thing we want to do is we want to turn it into a prefab. And to do that, we just have to grab it and drop it in. It's a prefab. And you know it's a prefab because the little icon is nice and blue. Now that we have this prefab, we don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. There we go. Now remember we talked about the player and all these behaviors that's on it. What we want to do is we want to add these behaviors to the sphere. So if we take a look back over here, we know it's got a character controller, a third person controller, a third person camera, photon view script, and a third person network. Okay, try to remember that. So the first thing it had was a character controller. So I, I click here, just type in character controller. Okay, so that's good. And the other thing it had was a third person controller script. So click here again, we'll type in third. Oh, and there's a whole bunch there. So a third person controller script, good. The other one it had was, I can't remember. There we go, third person camera, there we go. So third person camera, oh, there we go. Third person camera right there. And remember, if we look back here, the third person camera is checked off right over there. So we'll do the same thing. And then finally, we have a Photon view script. Photon. You know what? We also need a third person network. 
and we'll throw that in as well. And the photon view, okay? And we know that the photon view is, is observing the third person network, so we want to click and drag it over, like so. Now that we've got this, we should be able to basically press play, right? And then see the sphere drop in. So let's take a look at that. Look at that. Surprise, surprise. It doesn't work. And I'll tell you why. We have to do one more step. If we go over to scripts, what we have here is the player transform, this player prefab that gets instantiated. What we want is the sphere. So we basically take this and throw it in. Let's play it now. See what happens. Bam! How awesome is that? So then we can sort of move around. Now that we've got it moving around, we've got a controller script on it, we have a camera script and a bunch of other behaviors on it, we can then start applying the textures. I'm going to turn this off. Now the textures I'm going to be applying are two that I have from a package that I bought. Uh, you can use whatever you want, obviously, but this one is an Eskimo and a Penguin. To apply the texture, what we need to do is we need to create the script or the behavior and then apply it to our object. I'm going to go over to Resource, select the sphere, and I'm going to add a component. It's going to be a new script, C Sharp, and I'm going to call it Change Texture. And I'm going to Create. So now we have a script that has nothing in it that's applied to the object. Now the script that we write is what's going to be responsible that when we press the letter E or the P or whatever you know, letter we define, it's going to change the texture on the object itself. And then conversely, by using an RPC call, it's going to change, it's going to show to everyone else around you and vice versa. So to write the script, I'm just going to double click here and it's going to open up Mono Develop. And as you can tell, it's got all the template built-in stuff happening already. And the part that we want to keep is the update part. Uh, we don't need start. And I'm just going to do something here. It's something that I do all the time so I don't lose my place. Oops, there we go. And update, I do this as well. So I sort of keep track of where stuff is.